Hey, what's going on people? This is Big Benno 37 and today I'm going to be teaching you the basics of Java. So, to start off with, we're going to need a kit called the Java Developmental Kit. You can get this kit by searching on Google JDK, waiting for the web page to load, pressing Java SE downloads this this link right here pressing Java right there accept license agreement and downloading the one applicable for your system after you've downloaded and installed the JDK what you want to do is then download a program by the name of Eclipse Eclipse is basically a program which helps you code Java and one second my internet seems to have stuffed up one sec okay my internet has been restored and so you'll want to search for a program by the name of Eclipse and what Eclipse does is it is a Java it is a Java programmers best friend it helps debug Java programs and it overall helps you code Java so what you want to do is you want to download this uh, Eclipse program here Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers now this is 212 megabytes so it may take a while to download depending on what your internet connection is like so now what you want to do is download it via clicking one of these links which is once again applicable to your system so you press on that then press on this and then wait for it to download luckily for me I've already downloaded it and it should come in a zip file file okay now if you open that zip file you notice a folder by the name of Eclipse so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up my folder right here expand uh, the amount of files that can be seen at once and just drag Eclipse right in now this may take a little while once again depending on whether you have a hard drive or an SSD so I'll be right back once it's done okay it is done and so now what you want to do is you want to open it up and press eclipse.exe now this window will open up and what you'll have to do here is just wait for it to load up now this may take a while or it may not take long at all but once you've started it up you'll it'll want you to make a workspace for now just press OK and once again just wait for it to load It'll just load up all the different utilities in this program, make a folder called Workbench, all this different stuff. Now what you want to do is, don't worry about this, and this is just my antivirus program, okay? Don't worry about this, do not look at it. What you want to do is you want to go File, New, whoops, Java Project, Oh wait, no. Project, sorry. Now, here you want to type in Java. So, Java project. You want to name this project name whatever, but for now we'll just call it Java Tutorials. Once there, once you have done that, press finish. It will create the, uh, it will create this project now what you want to do is press on this arrow and then right click on this src fol folder icon now you want to press new class name this class main as you can see here and press finish it'll create this new class with public class main inside it you'll now you want to delete that and let's start coding Java so what program should we make first first of all we need to make the hello world program basically this program will make will output to the screen hello world 
So, let's begin. Just follow what I do for now. So, I've written class main than these curly brackets right here. These can be found just above the enter key and the speech mark on your keyboard. Now you want to press enter and then type in this. Now once again, you want to put in these curly brackets and press enter. I will be explaining this very shortly, so if you do not understand what this is, do not worry. Okay, so we've made our first Java program and if we press run right here, as you can see down here, it will say hello world. Don't worry about this. This is uh, just for speeding up my Minecraft on my computer. So, how does it output hello world? Well, let's have a look at it. If you have a look here, it says class main. Now, what this essentially means is that it's defining this class. So, because we made a class before by the name of main, which you can see here, main.java, we need to declare it inside by doing class main. So that's all that means. Now, public static void. Don't worry about this for now, but you need to make sure that you include it in your code. Otherwise, your code will not work. I will talk about this in a future update video, so look out for that. Now, main string those brackets args. What this basically means is that it's creating a new method. Now, what a method essentially is, is that it's a way... It's declaring a way the program has to be run. So in Java, to start off coding, it needs to look for a certain method to start off with. In this case, it's the main method. So if you did not declare a main method in your Java code, it will not run. So make sure that you have this main part in your Java code because Java looks for this, and once it finds it, it will run the next part of the program. Now, this string args, do not worry about this. Just make sure that on the second line of your code, it has public static void main string args, like that. Now, right here we have system.out.println bracket hello world. So what this means is basically this right here, this command, it's telling Java that we want to print out a statement. So, system.out.println, and we declare what we want to print out by making brackets and then putting in speech marks. Then we put in hello world. So, just say if we wanted to make it some, say something else, we would just do hi there or something like that now if we press run it'll say hi there because we switched this from hello world to hi there thus making it say hi there so if we switch this back to hello world it shall now say hello world now at at the end of each command you'll notice that we put in these these are semicolons if I did not put this here and I pressed run, it uh, Eclipse will come with an error and it will say, please insert the semicolon at this location to complete the program. Now that I put that back in, it works. So that's basically it for the Hello World program. There isn't much more that you need to know, but I'll be going over some more stuff in the next tutorial. Now, if you want a written version of this tutorial, please check my OptiCraft forum post, which I'll be putting in the description of this video. And I will also be putting the code for this video in the description as well. All links will be put in the description. And so with that, I... I, uh... So I say goodbye to you all.